this exciting video where you once again join me in the paradise landscape here of Scotland and today we've come for a walk out in one of these wild remote glens and I've just parked at the top of the main road this is basically as far as the main road goes and I've not been up here for so long I just fancied a walk up in this mad little glen and it's actually Glen Moy and I think last time I walked here it was proper snow conditions so today It'll be cool to see it in autumn. And the cool thing with this adventure, there's a couple of wee like abandoned houses and abandoned properties kind of scattered over these hills. And I've never been up here with like the drone to get some aerial shots. So I thought it'd be so cool to come up here for a wee adventure. So yeah, let's get into action folks. Look at this amazing little farmhouse set out in the lands. Wow, this is amazing folks, look at the state of this roof, and this is often what happens in Scotland with the extreme storms out here in the glens, if you get a proper like weight of snow on the top of there, it just pushes down on it, proper like caves the roof in basically. I love the colour of the landscape at this time of year, when you get all the colours, the yellows and the oranges and the browns on all the leaves, check out this old farm shed right here folks look at the character of that imagine in the 1800s or whatever this would be a thriving wee farm right into the 1900s but yeah obviously it's not such a hustle and bustle and environment here anymore but i think most houses and that up here are just like private residences like whereas at one time there would have been individual like crofts and little farms, little communities up here in the remote glen making their living with the farming, the sheep they would probably have a few cows and enough animals to get them by and that would have been their income up here in the Scottish lands like and wow what a scene, once you come through the farm the landscape just opens up right here and it's just magical all these rolling hills still purple with the heather up at the top but it's turning to more of like a brown colour now with the autumn temperatures. It's proper just seven degrees Celsius today for this adventure and that's why I've put on the coat. I've got on an extra layer now folks at this time of year. And I can see this house. It looks like the roof may have completely fallen in on it. It's been, like I say, it's been ages since I've been up here and these places can change so quick. A lot of the properties and things I've documented on this channel, again, they're gone now. That's how often when you're exploring, it's just a moment of opportunity just to see a little bit of history. And I'm just hoping that there's no gamekeepers up here today shooting. Because it's, it's a Saturday, so it's like often in Scottish estates, on a Saturday they'll go out on a shoot. So I just need to keep my ears to the sky so I can hear if there's any gunshots. Check out the way the light is rolling over these hills as the clouds move in front of the sun. It creates an amazing environment. Each hill gets lit up at a different time. Often you just see it for one moment and it just looks incredible. A proper photograph of Scotland. Up in the sky here, we've got an incredible Scottish bird of prey flying around making its call. And when it first took off, it was making a mad noise, but it's the usual thing. By the time you get the camera out, the thing's flown away or whatever. Yeah, it looks like this little cottage roof now is totally gone. And I believe last time I was here, most of the roof was still on. And it looked like a, co a complete kind of little cottage, but yeah, as the years progress, like it's amazing how the weather takes its toll. And wow, look back down this way, we can see Early Monument in the distance. It's probably too far away for the camera, but yeah, it's just a vast open landscape sometimes in places like this. And then it's amazing just to see these little houses scattered in the middle of it. At one time a little family or whatever would have stayed out here and there would have been a wee community probably with all the wee crofts in the area. And it's mad just to think about that when you see how desolate it is now. 
wild land for miles, untamed nowadays as well and overgrown with bog grass. Check it out for a scene of history on the channel. It's magical. A little house like that with this backdrop behind it and then we've got the wee stream. Maybe a source of fresh water at a certain time for the occupants of this house. And yeah, it's quite a sturdy bridge. It's made by big railway sleepers. Wow, what a scene. At this time of year in Scotland, the sun's always quite low in the sky, so it's casting the shadow. And that's mad. The days get shorter as well at this time of year in Scotland. Often the sun's setting now, like half past six in the evening or whatever, it's starting to get dark. Whereas in the summer, it's light here until 11 p.m., often later. So it's crazy in Scotland to have that madness at this time of year. Whoa, I just stood in the puddle there. As I put the camera back on, I was looking at the house, just thinking about how incredible it looked. And I was thinking, we hit a head in, and then boom, I stand in a puddle. Yeah, I love the scene there with the house. And it is crazy how these places can change so much over the years. Wow, it's almost like stepping back in time on these adventures. We've gone from this incredible wild landscape into a wee house and it's amazing to see how they survived in such remote locations back in the day. I need to be careful here because obviously okay, it's a dangerous structure here we're stepping into. Wow, they've had this like little porch bit of here. Oh my goodness folks, that was that crunch noise when I stepped in the door. It's like a rabbit carcass here on the floor. So when electricity and like more sanitation and stuff was brought into the houses in Scotland, that's when a little bit like this would have been built on the end of the cottage. And like you can see they've got the wee bathroom here. The back wall and the toilet has completely collapsed now. But yeah, this has all been added on at a different time. But I did notice there was electrical wires still coming along here as far as this house and they're still connected here so I'm thinking like I need to be super careful because I can see cables everywhere and that's another thing you have to be careful of if you're exploring any place that's abandoned or that you think's abandoned. Look at this, the old water, the hot water tank there, hot water tap and then the massive sink. You see these quite a lot, quite often taken out of houses though for like feeding troughs and that on old farms, you used to see that quite a lot. Check it out, look at this door and stuff, this place is absolutely gone nowadays folks. I just wanted to stick the camera in, wow. I can't even go in there. And that is insane because that shows how over the years, like my videos do show places as they degrade and deteriorate because I used to be able to walk right through there and it just shows like those roofs and things they're so dangerous ready to fall down I can see all the electrical wires just hanging like spaghetti from the roof wow what a scene it's just wild Scotland and I'm not really wanting to push and pull this door because I'm thinking that's holding that lintel this whole area above my head is probably not that safe so let's take a walk around and see what else we can see. Let's take a walk around this place folks. I've tucked in my trousers here to my socks because this is actually an area where you may get ticks and stuff like that in the long grass. Look at this, the wee window here at one time has been changed. It's been bricked up. Sometimes the history, I explore so many places you forget individual details that you've seen over the years. But I do remember being able to walk about in that place and one of the rooms wasn't even too bad. And then it's like, now look at it. It's an absolute madness, folks. The place is ruined, but it also shows the devastation. Like if you were in there when that roof came down, it would just flatten you like. Wow, this is an extreme bit of the walk here. I'm going through this long grassy terrain. Wow, this is insane scenes. 
the character of a wee cottage, most likely 17, 1800s. So overgrown in the front, I can hardly actually get there. So I'll step over this fence. There we go, folks, we're on to it. I'll head back over out here. I'm going to get some drone shots though. This is incredible. I just love seeing things like that. Obviously, I can't get right in. I'll try and look in that window with the camera before we head out. It's just so overgrown though. Yeah, even this side now, it's completely collapsed. I can actually see the similarities with this house wall and the one that we saw that was on the abandoned house at Lintraith and Loch. So that shows these houses may have been similar. The one at Lintraith and Loch may have looked like this at a certain time as well. And that's cool to imagine how one piece of history can sh like show you how another one may have looked. Yeah, it's just incredible. The way the roof and stuff has fallen down inside that. I can see the back windows being made into shelves and stuff at a certain time. But yeah, it's just so beyond repair nowadays. With a place like that, you would have to start from scratch. Kind of if you were rebuilding it and redeveloping it. But if it does get redeveloped, it's cool to have seen today how it looked. And it has just been a madness. I think last time I came as well, I never used to have the windsock on the camera. So it was always in the audio. You could hardly hear what I was saying about the properties. Today, it's just perfect conditions. And it is magical. For the next video, I'm going to go for a walk up this glen further and document more of the abandoned history scattered over here. But if you want to see the drone footage, stick around because I'm going to put it at the end of this video. We'll take a wee look at this bridge first before we finish it here. And look at that scene looking down the glen. Early monument standing on the far hill. And these Angus glens are just incredible for a wee adventure or a walk. Look at the way this stream carves its way through the land. I'm not sure if there was an older bridge here first. You can see it's made by these big steel girders. Wow, there's a spider there chilling on a web. What an adventure. And then there's the house. Anyway, folks, I'm waiting to end it here. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll catch you very soon for the next adventure when I head further into these wild lands to document more history. And yeah, stick around for this drone footage. Here we go.
Thank you.